Okay guys, I have another watch from Second Hour Watch Company. If you remember a while ago, there was the Gin Clear Diver and that had a unique style and uh, design cues to it. And some of those are actually translated over to this one. This is the Mandala. And from what I did, a quick look up on that, it is a like a uh, geographic pattern. I noticed that on the dial on this thing, there's a lot going on with it, and that is all tied into the name of the watch. So before we do some close-ups and talk more about that, let's talk about the case size. So you're looking at a 40 millimeter case, a lug-to-lug -lug of just under 46, a thickness of only 10.72. That's including that sapphire, which is chamfered and just slightly proud of the bezel. 20 millimeter lug width, bracelet tapers down to 18 millimeter fully milled out clasp, three, three micro adjust, double pushers, sign clasp. Display case back showing the Miyota 9039 three-handed no date movement with their custom rotor. Also kind of carrying over some of the dial designs. So let's take a look at that because there is some fun stuff going on here. So you can see you have that pattern on the center part of that dial and it is very dynamic and definitely is going to have you staring at it occasionally uh, and not checking the time so there's it's a fun dial and there's a lot of character uh, going on with this thing the other thing you'll notice is a tiered or cantilevered indices at the 12 4 and 8 o'clock positions and i don't think i've notice that on another watch now it was something similar was done like that on the gin diver so if you click the link in the description you'll see the gin diver model and then you'll see this one which at the time of making this video this is not in production this will be a kickstarter launch in the middle of march so keep an eye open for that you can click the link in the description and then you can sign up and they will notify you and then when i get the kickstarter link I will add that to the description because it just a lot of it's going to depend on when you guys watch this video. So you have about a six millimeter crown here with excellent knurling on there and tons of traction screw down, 100 meter water resist on this guy. I love the gold tone of the indices and handset on this one. And then that breakup of white around there as well. So the dial is just pure pleasure to look at as is the bracelet. There's nine links going across there. It is screw links, as you can see there. So easy enough to size and they're shorter links, so you're gonna get a good fitment. Case profile on this is just perfect as far as the overall sport dress design of this watch. So if we pop this on wrist, you'll see what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. I did not size it, but it just, it feels perfect on wrist. This bracelet's going to be crazy comfortable. You can see it's just going to drape around the wrist, no problem. And then the loom on this, I believe, is... I'm pretty sure it's BGW9. I didn't see it listed there. I didn't write it down. So when we kill the lights, we'll experience that together. They're also going to do a, a scratch-resistant coating on this. I'm not sure... I don't know, this one has a little bit of a tinge to it, so I think maybe this prototype actually does have the coating. I don't really see that color change in the bracelet, so I'm not sure if this bracelet actually has it, but the watch case definitely has it. You can see, typically when you put that scratch-resistant coating on these, it'll just give it a little bit of uh, a different color look to the case, but it's going to add a, a well-done you know, scratch-resistant coating of like 800 Vickers or something like that. So let's kill the lights. The price on this at launch is going to be around $420, and then the full retail price later on is going to be about $560. So yeah, you can see that's BGW9, and then you can see the 12, 4, and 8 for the uh, cantilevered indices there. Kind of a cool effect. I like that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next bid.